Assalamualaikum wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. We are from group 2 and before that let uh, let me introduce ourselves. Uh, first of all, my name is Natasha Putrananda with study ID number is 27. My name is Rufi Yahya, my number study is 025. Uh, my name is Luka Cahayani with student number 33. Uh, my name is Muat Akbar Shawki with student number 051. My name is Azrin Surya, with the number is 60. And today we're going to presentation our poster and there is a um, lot of explanation about two diseases, two pests and two weeds of corn plant. Then the explanation will be helped with all of my friends. Time is yours. Corn is a leading food commodity in Indonesia and the high nutrient content is the main reason corn plants are cultivated. However, the cultivation of the corn plant can be spared for the treat of the plant disturbing organism OPT, which can reduce productivity. The first one is green grasshopper pest, uh, caused Oxia sinensis. Oxia sinensis is a pest from the Orthohemenoptera, insect class green losses attack corn plant on the young leaves. This species can eat leaves, stem, or top on of, of corn. Symptom, there are pits, there are pits marked in the form of holes on corn leaves. Uh, controlled green grasshopper pest is use of insecticide on corn plant and mechanical control that can be done by a farmer. Okay, next. We will discuss important pests in corn plants, one of which is the cob caterpillar, whose Latin name is Helicoverpa armigera. The corn cob borer, Helicoverpa armigera, is a polyphagous insect. Its scientific name is Helicoverpa armigera lepidoptera noctilidae, or another name is corn cob borer. Helicoverpa armigera begins to appear in a corn plantation at uh, 45, 56 HST at the same time as hard upper on scorpions. Symptoms, symptoms of attack include the cob hair being cut and the tip of the cob having crack marks and larva often being found. The larva enter the young cob and eat the corn kernel so that there are adrenal marks on the cob and bead marks on the corn kernels. Control to control its prey product 3G or other insecticide according to the recommended dose. So the third is Belum. Next, next. And the and the first one is a uh, purple nerd sage. There is a separate rhododendron. There is a perennial glossy green grass like Asian sage or with with an erect regular stem, rising into three stem of purple and no like seed spoon. Then the symptom is a uh, photosynthesis process getting hampered because from all form of competition that occur between seeds, grass, their cypress, and and corn plants include competition for like nutrients, water, salt content, and growing space. Uh, then nut grass, which is a classified as a weed in corn plant, also has the ability to, pr to product allochemical, then uh, grow inhibiting due to the presence of allochemical Allelochemical is allopathy can cause obstacle to cell division, mineral uptake, respiration, stomata closure, and protein synthesis. Then, uh, the controlling can be mechanical control and chemical control. Next. Okay, now it, we will talk about uh, amaranthus spinosus, or we can call it spiny amaran. Spiny amaran is an annual weed. The life cycle of annual weed start from the process of germinating, producing, and finally dying, which lasts for one year. Spiny amaran weed is classified into broadleaf weeds. 
So spine amaran is often found growing widely in gardens such as cornfield, roadsides, vacant lots from vacant lots from lowlands to an altitude of one one hundred oh, one thousand uh, one four zero zero meters above sea level, so, uh, Spani amaran has oval shape, leaf, and is green in color. The stem of spina spinach has a small size with a round, soft, juicy, and prickly stem shape. So, Spani amaran causes greater damage to plant due to the presence of toxic ingredient, namely allopathy, which can suppress corn growth. Allopathy is a biochemical compound produced and released by wheat into the soil and inhibits maize ground. So the how we control it is with control can be done with chemically or by using herbicide and mechanically. Mechanical control is the act of killing weeds directly by using hand or tool. Mechanical control aim to kill weed directly either by using only hands or by using other tools. And herbicide, herbicide very and effectiveness based on their mode of action. Contact herbicides kill the part of the plant that is exposed to the herbicide and systemic herbicide kill after being absorbed and translocated to all part of the wheat. Next. Okay. Uh, next is Carcolora disease uh, caused by Macropomina paseoli. Uh, in this disease, the pionus begins to attack the stem through the roots and rootstock, forming thick tissue that look mottled, similar to silvery black carcolodus. Uh, symptoms that occur are prone to black spot appear, and control can be done with good water management to avoid crop stress and crop rotation with rice. Uh, control number two is application of MOP at the recommended dose in two spirit application stakes also strengthens corn plain and as preventive measure. Next. Leaf flag disease caused by Helminthus sporium triticum. The disease of base when the plant is 40 days old and can attack corn from the vegetative phase until harvest. Uh, the attack part is the leaf symptoms. Uh, small spots appear on the leaves which then along into epithelial shapes. The color is grayish green or brown. Black leg is 2.5 until 15 cm. Control, control is carry out field sanitation by clearing disease plants and alternative host near surprise inoculum source in the field, set the planting times to avoid the rainy season which triggers good condition for the pathogen that causes this disease. And the application of resistant varieties was also mentioned the previous point. Next is Spina amaran disease caused Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Satu. Thank you.